go bishop, bishop back with survival today. I'm going to show you how to make a uh, bow. I'm going to start off with some of this cord. This is cord you can get at the hardware store. It's made for uh, chainsaws and lawnmower uh, pull cords. And you want to get two of them. Cut them the same length. And what I'm actually doing, I'm making this where it will wrap around my waist. Like that there. It'll kind of be a bolo belt so I can tote it. So I got both of them cut. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a lighter and you're going to heat the ends of it. Like so. And you're going to get four weights. There's different, you can use all kinds of stuff, but I find the best is fishing weights. These are a two ounce fishing weight. So what I'm gonna do with that is uh, take this heavy duty washer ring. You can use a, a brass ring if you can find them. Uh, tractor supply normally carries the brass rings. But you're gonna take the doubled up end, you're gonna stick through. Pull it back on itself like so. Right out there. Both ends are pretty much close to being the same. It ain't gotta be perfect. I'm gonna take the other one. I'm gonna do the same thing with it. Take both doubled ends up and stick it through to the cord. Pull them all down nice and snug. Pretty much close to being the same. Take a sewing needle. This is coat thread. I don't know if you've ever seen coat thread, but coat thread is really tough. I'm just going to throw a couple of stitches in this thing. And all this is going to do is stop it from sliding around on your ring there. Just do a couple of stitches. You ain't got to do a bunch of them, but I mean, you can come back and after you get it all put together and you can put more in there. But all it does is stop it from uh, sliding, like keeps it tight. That's what you want to keep it tight. Get your lighter. Once you got that done, 
what you want to do is take one of them and depending on what kind of lead you get you may have to drill it out and i don't know if you ever drilled lead before it's really hard uh, it starts off pretty easy because lead, lead's pretty soft but then what happens is it starts to clog up the the drill bit itself You may have to use a pair of pliers like I'm doing here to just kind of twist like like a, a screw, you know, eventually get through the side. Come out the other side, pull it through. And you're going to tie a knot in this end, and that knot is going to go one, two wraps like so. That's all you do. Touch it down. Pull it down on top of each other. That's a pretty good knot. Push your lead to one side and do another knot just over three. Kind of snug it down on top of it. Got one done. Got three more to go. And you don't have to use two ounce lids. I've just been I've been experimenting with different size weights on these, and uh, the two to three ounce lids have been doing pretty good for me. So. Same thing. Pull it through. One. Two. Pull it in. Put these down tight. Got two of them on. If you ain't got lead, you can use big nuts. Uh, same people use golf balls, but they you ain't gonna get the distance out of a golf ball. A golf ball would be perfect if you could weight it down. If I've, I've actually drilled out golf balls and tried to pour hot lead in it. I got my third one on. Like I said, you're gonna do one, two, Tight, got three of them on there. I'm a fourth one. And after I get it done, we're gonna pause the camera and uh, go over to my spot where I'm gonna test it out. Again, one, two, switch it down. This one has four four weights on it. You make them different. You make them in different weights. Yeah, quit. I'm, 
I made it and wrap around my waist. secure there. We're going to go ahead and pause it real quick. Alright, this is my bolo. I got four four weighted bolo here. What you do to throw it, you pull up one weight. You grab the end of it. Kind of wrap this up a little bit. And what happens when you sit there and you swing it and you throw it, this one pulls back, pops back and it makes you spread out to catch your, your target. My target's going to be that pole right there. Uh, roughly about 30 feet or so away. Cameraman, come over and look at it. Wrapped up nice, nice and neat. It ain't super heavy. I can actually throw this a lot farther probably than some of my heavier ones. Couple more times. See it does its job. You watch these other bolo videos. They don't even come close to doing that. Let's see if the cameraman trusts me a little bit. Let's see if he'll stand right here and video as it hits. He just video called but That's how you make a bolo. It's pretty simple. If you can throw a baseball or a softball, or you into Adlows, any, any kind of throwing sport, this is this is pretty easy to master. Uh, like I said, I made this one long enough. That can actually I kind of wear this like a belt and wrap around me like so. Wrap around a couple times like that. Pull it tight and if I had to I'd stick, kind of stick the weight in my pocket. That way they ain't bouncing all around. It's not a whole lot of weight there. Uh, another thing you can do with this thing is uh you sit there and you know get back people off you know maybe you pay attention to one side and you got the other three on the other side and you come across so they used to use these in combat with a like a short blade not a short blade, actually a pretty long, it's a long blade knife or a short blade sword, so uh, I'm Joe Bishop, Bishop Backwood Survival, that's my bowler belt, pretty easy make, pretty easy master, so like I always tell you, if you ain't out there practicing your skills, when it comes time to use them, you won't have them, so get out there and practice.